So um, if you watched my last video, you know I ran into a problem while I was bush hogging with the TN95 and the HX15 Batwing that uh, there was some trees that I'm not supposed to take out, little sapling poplars that have ribbons on them. I couldn't get my 15 foot mower in between them. So this is the solution to that problem. This is a 297C cat with a five foot hydraulic bush hog on the front. So basically what I have here now is a zero turn bush hog. And that's what I'm gonna to use to mow around all those trees. And down around, I gotta mow along the property line and mow anything in between that I can. That I can't get, uh, I'm gonna use this to get whatever I can't get with the, with the 15 foot batwing. All right, so let's get on the road, get this machine hauled over there, and get back to work. I'm not sure, but I think there's a cat following me. Yep, there's a cat following me. All right, we're back. Same job, same day. Here's the TN95. <clears throat> this is just a different video. I'm gonna get this machine unloaded and get started, see if I can get some of that stuff chopped up down there. Get around all those trees they wanna save. pretty good so far I've got a whole lot more to go though there's right smart of acreage down here um, but this bush hog works quite well as you can probably see already it's made by uh, quick attach and it's built pretty heavy it does pretty good as long as you have a machine that has plenty of hydraulic flow like this cat it does run on regular flow hydraulics but you still need a machine that puts out like 20 gallons per minute or something to make it work good. That, that's what we found anyway. But I've got a whole lot more to do. I'm going to keep on working at it for a while today until it gets uh, dark. And then I may keep working anyway. Turn the lights on and keep going. We'll see how it get along. But, all right. Let's get back in here and keep getting it.
basically what I've been trying to do or what I'm trying to work on is trying to chase this property line. There is a, a stob, I don't know if you can see it, but it's right over there where I'm pointing at. There's, there's a uh, metal fence post drove right there. But I've been trying to find each property stake as I go up through here and outline the property. That way I can start eating my way into this thing. And I'm gonna try to leave the big sections for the bat wing and, and do all the trimming around the trees and everything with this thing. So uh, I'm gonna keep on working at it. Maybe eventually someday I'll get done. I think there's about 20 acres here. It'd take a long time if I did all this five foot machine. But in my opinion, there ain't no better way to get around this property line and mow around the trees than with this track skid steer loader. Now this thing, it's amazing what a track skid steer loader will do. I'll just say that. I mean, as far as us and the construction part of things, you know, to us, rubber tired skid steers are pretty much extinct. You know, we'll probably never buy another new or or probably never buy another rubber tire skid steer, period. I just don't see, for us, I just don't see the, the need for one. I mean, we have a couple of them, but uh, well, we're going to do it pretty much anything construction related. Uh, it's going to be on a track skid steer with a cab on it. And, uh, but anyway, we're gonna, I'm gonna keep working on this. See how far I can get tonight. And uh, we'll talk to y'all later. Appreciate you watching. Uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. I have no idea what it'll be, but it'll be something. Talk to y'all later.